Street. Uh, yep, sorry that there's no uh, like advance notice. There probably is a way to do it with this software, but I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, so I did mean to put a post up, but never mind. Anywho, I'm uh, just about to cross a couple streets to go into Speaker's Corner. So I'm on Oxford Street in the West End of London. So ignoring traffic signals to walk. Marble Art, unfortunately, is under a massive amount of advertising and scaffolding. So I won't uh, spin you around, as it were. Sorry, I'm just, uh, you can't like follow other people's leads down here as to when to cross because a lot of them are tourists. Like those people who just walked out in front of all the, anyway. All right, Bill, I don't know who's right on top. Oh, Derek, you right, folks? All yours? Two people? Hi, even. When I put my bins on, I'll be able to see a little better. It's El Hotto, which is pretend foreign language for hot. Um, Scorchio, I can't remember what program that was from. That was when I watched TV. Uh, right, anyway. Hi, hi, my Um, oh, a little gang back together. Uh, I can actually, I think, I think that I might be able to read if you ask me anything whilst I'm walking through the hoods. Uh, yeah, it's a chance, people. Hold on. Oh, no, no, I can't because I haven't got a dark paper. Yes, I have. Hello, um, Arabic name. I'm not even going to bother. I could, I could just about make out the English, babes, let alone. Oh, that's good. Uh, I can't. Whoever's name begins with a B, it's a lovely way to come in. L, you right, kid? Who's that now? Oh, I, I, oh. <laughs> There's a. Mm, yeah. All right. I appreciate. Uh, all of you who regularly comment and affirmative like uh, words and stuff. It's nice sometimes. Not that I always reply, but I do always notice. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Obviously, I'm in black uh, and sweating. Glowing, I think. Well, I can't remember now. That might be hate speech against people who sweat. I don't, who knows? Who cares, actually? Not I. But I can't see you at the moment now because of the glare and the sunglasses. People just want to die on the streets. Oh, no, we're busy. I don't know how busy it is. I just came from a couple of people who said it's, she was pretty busy when they were there. <coughs> oh, dark. Where are we? I can see you there, sorry, I can't. Who's that? I need a dark background and better eyes. Stat, pronto. I've got a problem, sorry. <coughs> no, no good whatsoever. Probably a single thought it out. Alright, let's get in past the carpet sales people. Oh. I was just about to say they've got no loudspeaker, but because they're so far away from each other, they need it on a speaker. Do me a favour. Right, yeah, it is quite busy from what I can see through the foliage. Oh, I feel like I haven't been forever. I have, though, but it's been intermittent. Because now it's every other week, then sometimes if that week, the week that I should be here gets messed up, then it's like, yeah, four weeks. Oh. Sorry, I'm just reading the... Oh, it's not that busy, to be fair. I'll show you. Uh, I'm just going to flip around because, yeah. When you come in for the first one, there's Christopher. I know it is from his tunic. Um... When you come in person, if you ever please God do, I know that I uh, I was really sort of quite taken aback at how small the actual strip is. It's not the corner, obviously, because it's a straight line for any of you geometry fans. But 
yeah, I was like, is that it? <laughs> All the videos I'd seen were like, I don't know, just makes it bigger in your mind. Right, I see Street Mike. Uh, Christopher, obviously. I don't see JC, weirdly. Although that's not like I have spoken to him today, but I'm a bit earlier than I usually would be. No, looks like it's just whoever street might still win. I don't recognise them. Oh, that guy. It's partisan thing. I mean, I know religion is pretty, like by definition. But um, all the nonsense next to me. It's fair enough. Like it, I just was reading this thing. The suffering of males is minimised. Yep, I'm on board with that. I can can get on board but the next sentence is the suffering of women is magnified like it's all literally like tit for tat and divisive why wouldn't you how does you don't have to be comparatively suffering you know suffering is suffering whether other people are suffering as well or not doesn't make it any better or worse if you see what I mean plus it's a little just a bit trite and a bit predictable I feel like that, that's the guy who was here once with a red paint on his crutch, like a like a faux menstrual. Um, oh, that was it, because circumcision is mutilation. I said, all right. Do you want to listen to Christopher for a minute, everybody? And I will go and sit and then I'll be able to read your stuff. Sorry if you're talking to me as opposed to each other. Um, oh, they're already shouting. There you go. Your Jesus Christ. Does your Jesus Christ, as opposed to his the other guy's Jesus Christ, who's not called Jesus or Christ. <laughs> oh, do you know? Do you know? It's not that I don't love Jesus or anything, but that man can just suck it. Like I got it's some people are it's not that they shan't be educated by me, but they wouldn't be, even if I gave them a very calm rendition of why they are spastics. You know what I mean? Or why they're wrong in a more loving phrase. Right, I'm in the bicycle path, obviously. Let me get out of it. Uh, yeah, let's go and have a little sit, sit down, because I've been walking for seconds now. Oh, I mean, I can collect my two brain cells and my thoughts. It's quite pleasant now, the sun's kind of gone behind the clouds. It's very warm still though. There's, yeah. And I obviously say that full awareness that there's at least one Australian in the like, chat, so don't, let's not have a, like, you know, hot off as it were. I know you people are just ridiculous temperatures. Right. You people, that sounds so friendly. Right, do I sit on the end or mm, I'm gonna have to sit on the end that smells quite lived in sometimes. But my nose affords me benefits. Right, glasses, okay, glasses, love. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I've got to put you on my shirt as it were. Bill, you spot on, kiddo. Yeah, it's odd that, isn't it? Yeah. Never ever seek refuge in a country run by the same ideology. How strange. I mean, it's quite expansionist if you want to be a cynic, but it's also quite telling. Buttercup, that's lovely. I'll play that as well. Elaine, great to see your little E, <laughs> as it were. Thank you. Uh, let's pretend I'm, I'm not uh, my eyesight. I've got, I've got finally uh, got an optician's thing sort of ophthalmologist. I don't know what everybody calls it. Uh, yeah, they really have deteriorated quite noticeably. That's all that reading, writing, and arithmetic, you know. Right. This, you may hear some ventilation, but it's not. I think it's pumping out of hot air. Right, let's have a ciggy, excuse me. Oh, 
35% what? Well, visitors, friends, as it were, infiltration, I don't know, you're 35% what, humidity? I don't know. Thank you, Arabic person, or Arabically named person. I did start learning Arabic, just for fun, really. I like languages, but, and Japanese. The problem with, not the problem, but the difficulty for, for people who use the, um, you know, regular alphabet for one of I can't think of the word. Um, yeah, Japanese is some next level shenanigans. You learn all of the sounds, the the characters, and then it progresses and it's and then the whole word is nothing like the it's not made up of the component parts and you just like what why? Why? Basically is what I was asking frequently to myself. I'm not sitting down, I realise that I yeah. Sorry, I've got quite a thing for ravens at the moment. Since I've been at the park, at, at the tower a lot, they're so clever as well. Um, right, who's, yeah. Oh, right. Well, you sound Arabic. Stop telling me Arabic. I mean, that sounds a bit Christian princey. But I take your point. Uh, well, type your name then. Or not your real name if you don't want to, but something I can call you as opposed to Arabic name. Because it is an Arabic name, technically. Or well, not a name, but a nomenclature. Mm. Where's Banksy? Oh, in the chat, I thought you meant like behind me or something. Or maybe you do. No. Right, okay, I haven't got a light, that's why I'm up and about again. I mean, I do, but it's buried under lots and lots of useless shizzle that's in my bag because I'm turning into my mother basically carrying around camping equipment you know flares I haven't got my first aid kit on me I shouldn't have said that out loud just but um but yeah I've got all sorts of nonsense and the lighters are firmly in the bottom I guarantee it and I, I go I say lighters plural as if I've got more than one who knows stuff goes down there it never sees the light of day again never any smokers when you want to light either obviously Creative society looks a bit masonic. I don't know, they've got the triangle thing going on. Uh, I just want to lie, really. Sorry, I'm coming to you, lovely people. Oh, older people are under 12. How can I ask anyone for a light? Why is no one smoking? I come off it, this is a bit statistically very unlikely. Charles, got a light? Oh, yeah, you're right, guys. It is. But you shouldn't. Why is that? You've got a uh, bad No, hang on a minute. Why shouldn't I? What, what, what moral standards are you appealing to? Anyway, guess the light first. I probably will put nonsense. <laughs> not nonsense, but I know you're not going to be convinced. <laughs> I'm going to bag. Cheap. 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 I didn't say you're cheap. The cigarettes are relatively compared to the 16 pounds. 16 of your great English pounds. I didn't know they did tins anymore. Seriously, and they, they, they've got to be out of somewhere else because they're not a black package and they're not they're not 20. Shut your mouth. Really? Minty. I didn't know. I, I, they don't do menthol really anywhere. I didn't know that Sainsbury's did anything that was relatively cheap. Wow. Bit of anti-advertising there. Nice. Guess I've there. What is it? A cigarillo? Oh, that's why. I've got you now. Do you hear the Hamlet music in your head? It's the Hamlet in my head. I love that. And the John Smith advert with the Jack Russell. You know what? Those days are never coming back. Nice to see you, though. It's nice to see you, too. Sunshine. Well, hi. Right. I know, but I'm not really built for that. All that laying around and soaking up. If you can't, can you have ginger? Thanks, babes. I love you, too. You're from that species. Yeah. Sorry, babe. Yeah. You don't have to be sorry. I'll, I'll, you know, I won't develop cancer as quickly. I can actually be in the sun. It's just I don't like being sweaty. Other 
other people must sweat who haven't got fair skin. Got a red at work, and I'll take a kiss. A red, out. you know. Ooh. A ginger. Yeah, man. Lots do you know where? Do you know being redheaded? I mean, I couldn't like be an X man, but it's a genetic mutation. Yeah. I'm waiting for Defense. Professor X to roll up on me. Defense. No mutation, darling. You know, you, evolution. You believe in things become modified or they alter, and usually, according to use mob, for the better somehow. Although I don't know how you decide what better is. You're Listen, I'm lovely. I'm a constant effing delight. I'll have you you're know. You're a nuisance. I am. And you're not. How sad and boring. You're just the same as all the other thespian atheists who talk nonsense. I'm original. Is it though, bro? Deeply and wonderfully made. Unique. You came from me. No, I didn't, babe. No, no, I've got my birth certificate indoors. I never did. In evolution. No, I didn't. You're of the same generation or older. Let me just put it out there because of your, you know, the skin you cream that you use. From me. Who's you? What, you was about all that time ago? What face cream are you using, Charles? Natural stuff. Well, you only look like in your... I mean, you were born definitely in the last hundred years, I reckon. So when you say me, do you mean black people? Do you, are you being sort of vaguely racist? Like what, who, who do you mean? Do you, do you think there's an origin of species like as in two people? Or you think we crawled out the... Oh, you do? Well, that's a bit biblical. You want to see his face when I said that he thought shizzle. Oh, he didn't yeah. put the zoo on the end. He thought oh, you stole it from us. Who's us? What London atheists who wear jumpers in this weather? Even though it's around the neck, darling, like as if you just come from Wimbledon. Yes, Biggles. You stole that from us. And by us, I just mean sentient beings. What's happening? You right, babe? Anyway, we could argue when it's less. Muhammad had to be like I know one never debates me anymore. That I am the messenger. What the philosophy? I know. I didn't want to say it. I'm too humble as well. I'm the. I'm the. I'm very proud of my humility. <laughs> Yeah, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not now, because I've got sweaty. When you're good and ready. I'm always, well, there is none good, but I give it my bestest. Do your tour and come back to me. Uh, I'm ready for you. That's what he said. Right, I'll come back in a minute. Right, oh, that's all right. I've got someone to talk to, even though it's going to be largely nonsensical. Why are you wearing a coat? Why are you wearing a coat? You can, don't take off your clothes. That's all you carried away, babe. But why are you wearing a coat? Why? And why are you wearing a coat? No, but in your bag, bro. I've got a cardi in my bag. You're making it feel even warmer than I do. She said we're in all black. She's got a black coat on. Um, light, doing light stuff. No, I have every other week I have a really enjoyable commitment, which I couldn't give. I, I, hang on, let me tell you in a minute. Look. Is your daughter okay? Yeah, Don't yeah, say yeah, the yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's all right. She's... Hotel races, you know. Yeah, she's all right. The usual dramas that feel very dramatic when you're, like, younger. And then you realise as you get on. Not that you have got on yet. That face cream, I must get it right down next time. Because I'm just sweating through everything now. Coconut oil. Coconut oil, everyone. I'm, t I'm not even going to tell you the lady's age, but she, it's not fair. It's not right. Now, now I'm going to have to put your face on there. <laughs> Let me show you. Right, look at this lady. See the non wrinkles. See the nothing there. See the not even. I keep smiling. Yeah, but you ain't even got no crow's feet. Listen, it's embarrassing. For me. It's not fun. It's not right. It's not right. But if that's my biggest problem in life, I'm winning. So. I can always, you know, put a bag on my head. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, before I engage Charles in a theatrics, I'm gonna get somewhere where I can read your comments because I like you people, often more than these people, well, nearly always, depending on the people. But let me finish this. Sorry. Right. No, I can't read none. On behalf of God. Tell him, Christopher. Not on behalf of God. Love him. Passion. Right. Who's Buttercup? Hang on. Let's have a look. Happy Minister. Amen, Jay. 
Yeah. Where's Ublek? I don't know. Go on, babes, I'll catch up to you. Are you coming for a, some sort of uh, fluid afterwards? Libation. Um, there's some constabulary over there. There's three police officers. Um, and they're in the full gear. They must be sweating. Right, let's get somewhere a bit shady and then I'll be able to read what you're chatting. I just need... Sorry, I've got to use my shirt as the background. It makes me feel a bit odd that I keep pointing you downwards. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not going to scroll up again. Have you got any... Oh, I just nearly lent for a big spider. Um, there's been some sort of spider party over here and someone's left their microphone thing sitting right there. That's uh, uh, there's no point me picking it up because they may remember. Right, let's have a go. Uh, what's not right, but cut. Three live ace, three. I, I just count that as one big one. But then I'm not counting. Boy, it's not, uh, do you know, I never thought I'd say it. But sometimes I miss Moby and Danny because it's just like comedy value and then it's time to go home. You know what I mean? But he is international jet set right now and I sadly am not and I don't know why I'm not it's my passport is still in date I'm going to do it I'm going to do it I used to go all oh, I used to have much more of a sort of I have got a life obviously life in abundance but also I like travelling not just on the underground sweating with strangers sorry I'm just that fun now I can't see you at all. Sorry, I can see the glare of my own whiteness. But that's... All right, I was about to tell him about himself, but they are blocking the cycle lane. But then it is Sunday, so that gentleman. Oh no, I didn't get that him. There's a gentleman to my left, a Christian guy. It's very. He's lovely, actually. And he's very calm and patient, and you know, one of those. Fred! No, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to stop someone getting run over, but oh, I don't. Mm. That guy with the what I can only describe as child catcher mask on, I just makes me feel physically sick. And this is the, this is the you I'm good, I'm good for seeing you. You, you, you look yes, well. Huh? Oh, you and I said to her, Maria. when are you? It's not discussed. Oh, yeah, because the there's loads of lovely people she there. Yeah, yeah. wanted to go to a hotel with me to tie me and up plus, to the bed. Plus, I'm next to this man. What? Here, yeah. hold on. 60 quid. Sorry. And I asked her. I feel like I'm coming on the arse end of this combo. Street Mike talking about his stuff until it ties up. Street Mike, you're a hypocrite. One minute you're saying that the Uncle Omar cannot be saying or doing something with Shanley with the cucumber. And then on the other hand, I'm asking a lady when are, when are we going to a hotel to be tied up and whipped. The difference being, and I'm now going to differentiate what Omar is doing. I missed all this Shanley, It's unwanted Cucumber. attention and unwanted behaviour. That is the difference. Consensual adults is what exactly. you're going for. With the lady who wanted to take me to a hotel, she wanted to take me. She was telling me the price. So I, I just laughed and joked and continued with it. So just like the young lady next to me. Young, I love you, Wen. <laughs> Young, the, bless him the, and his the eyesight. Lady said she volunteered that information and she was consensually going. That is the difference. So the person who's saying, I can't go and what he's saying about. I'm a hypocrite, but I'm not. I'm differentiating between the two. Let me help you out. No, no, no. no. Well, she's saying, a woman is now going to help me out. Well, Are you a woman? Uh, don't, don't muck about, babes. Um, yes, last time I checked and forever. Um, yeah, the thing is that 
hypocrisy is not necessarily like it's it's believing something and acting in a different way. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. can believe uh, if other people are behaving poorly and harassing or like unwanted sexualized attention, and Omar, yeah, he does. Um, that's wholly different to even it. You know, it's just different to two adults. Nobody else's business, really, with a consensual or transactional or paid services. It's not the same ball game. It's not the same. Like it's just not the same. And, just, and it doesn't. Also, even if you were doing the same behaviour, it doesn't mean that calling out Omar is incorrect because it's still even two forms of poor behaviour are still both poor. They don't yeah. like cancelling. No, no, I, I, I so, hear you, but no, no, I'm, I'm saying I'm on your side. No, I know you're on my side, but I like to think that the people who follow Street Mike are more intellectual. And, and well, and, it's obvious because they're following Street Mike. Of course, I don't want no riff raff. If you're riff raff, <laughs> no riff raff. Subscribe and That's follow. Towers and when, yeah, riff raff can come to Jesus anytime. K Soko films. So K Soko films. If you're riff raff, and if lost. you're intelligent, because I've got loads of brain cells, I don't use them here. Obviously, <laughs> I save but K, them. Up. But yes. K, let's have a chat. Go on, yeah. then. So last time I engaged with you, you hadn't been down here for a little while. And now, for the last few weeks, it seems like you are regularly coming back out to speak his corner. What's it like for you to be out there with your camera in your hand, engaging with those online? Um, my online people are lovely. So there's, lovely. I have, yeah, no, they really are. They're, they're some of the best people, and they've been with me for years. Some of them um, around here, like I often enjoy the, the, the company of the, my like the live chat much more. Not you, but. Without sound, like what? How do I want to put this? Not everybody here is genuinely interested in changing their minds or having their minds changed. They're proselytizing and they're disingenuous, and they don't want to debate me anymore. And I feel like it's because I keep winning <laughs> or making them look silly. Right. So, but you love speakers' corner, okay. Trauma. But you know, who's your? You know, you are like me. You're one of the recognised faces down there, stalwart. But who stands out for you down here, or do you? You have no favourites? Oh no, I'm not one of those crazy equality people. No, 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 obviously. There's been no, yeah. Uh, who do I love listening to? Before I came down, I already knew Bob, but I enjoy Bob's stuff, but sometimes he's a bit, a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit bobbish. Um, Whatever that means. Yeah, well, anyone who knows knows it. Yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. Um, but who I like? I loved I, the old school ones. They're not here no more. But Paperboy is very eloquent and patient. And I thought there was some trick to it when I first met him. I was like, please tell me your secret. And Uncle Omar is in the Omar house. Omar is entertaining, I, I can see him, but he I can is. See him, but, he's but some of his opinions are vile, and I can have a joke about, around with him, but. I wouldn't turn my back on I'm him. Just turning the camera. <laughs> like, I've said Omar is in the house. I'm oh, and the police, the police are having a little chat to him. Now. So I'm going to move the camera around. Go on, go on, man. Get him. Because I banned him. <laughs> oh, you banned him. Yeah, I, I thought. Ah, I, I thought the mark said. But so now you're filming film. him, you loan. Huh? You're filming him, though, on your channel. No, no, I'm filming him, but I'm not engaging with Aha. him. So I just want to know what's Got going you. on, because he has I thought said he the most banned. disgusting. He has said the most violent, disgusting things, like off-camera and on-camera, to be honest. He's always very sexualised with me. Um, he just can't help himself. He offered to make me his right-hand position once. He offered to do what? In the Quran, it says um, it's lawful for you to engage sexually with whatever your right hand possesses, i.e. Like sex slaves. And he offered me the job, like, I don't know, part time or what? I, d I don't know, because I turned him down respectfully. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a character. He's, hopefully he's unique, but sadly there's extremists all around. Yeah. I think it's sad. I've engaged with him and I've got no problem with... But once he started chasing shallowly mm. with a cucumber and sex... Sexualizing oh, all of that. Yeah. That's when he stepped over the line. No, he stepped over the line long, long before that, babe. He attacks someone with his walking stick. I hope the social are watching sometimes. I really do. Of course they do. Because he goes on about Britain and, and, and you know, the economy and all of this stuff. And then I say, but where do you get your benefits then, bro? Yeah. Like, whilst you're hitting policemen with your walking stick and, and just shuffling around like, like you're why, special. why can he afford to give away a thousand pounds? Did he actually, has anyone got receipts? Has anyone well, held it out to the light? Something. Was there a watermark? Is is it real? Because uh, who's the other guy? Lamin. He's always banging on about a grand. 
like and he ain't got it he's got some tissues with a fibre at the top and maybe a cockle at the bottom like he's there's no grand there's no there's I know no I grass. hear you I hear you but as no, normal him. my darling thank you very much any no time doubt. I've no doubt. He's called Today Street Mike if you don't know him. It's going to be Street an exciting Mike's day. Life. But you know one thing I didn't ask you? Go on. Who is the most exciting Muslim down here? Oh, right. For you. I'll tell you who I like speaking to, oddly. So I, I've enjoyed um, Adnan Rashid. I've liked speaking. No, Siraj is a tea towel salesman and he's a he's an adolescent and he's embarrassing. He's embarrassing to debate and he's embarrassing to his mother. I'll say not himself because he's not of age. However, I suspect. But yeah, Adnan Rashid is, is in the past has been respectful and intelligent and also Hashim because I don't believe I'm going to convince them one bit but hopefully someone in their audiences will have a moment of doubt and then eventually come away from the nonsense excellent stuff but as normal thank you very much and I've no doubt we will engage and just next to you now listen any, if Sam. I see a cucumber now I'm going to be right back and this is the great man Sam is lovely by the way Sam, but Sam he doesn't lovely. debate he gets the ump sometimes, but he don't come debate. Come don't come don't come irritate come him come when. <laughs> right. Um, so Sam is the. Sam is all right. Sam. Uh, oh, that. Oh, he ain't got the nose on. Sorry. He hasn't got the nose on. That was the worst bit of the costume, to, uh, the mask, to be honest. But um, yeah. Right, so we've got the guy over there. I feel like he's like a. Not socialist. He's all right, actually. He might that ladder. This geezer's a nut. Uh, he's over there. You might remember the one who was sort of like our threatening Ben with the sticker who, who thinks that God the Father was born in Ethiopia. He's over there. Bless his cottons. I don't see anyone really. Oh, I married a three year old sitting over there. Casual. But yeah, there's no Hatton, there's no Bob, there's no Paperboy, there's no JC, there's no, there's no Jono, there's no that lady with the curly hair who I do know her name but it, it escapes me at the moment but she's lovely. Begins with an essay. Anywho, Mark's here though, he's very playfully like a 10. Um, yeah, sadly, this thing is very underrepresented. I might just start shouting a bit. I might do a sister Betty. I feel like I, I don't know. I did it once. Like it, you know. You, I don't know if you know. I hope you know. When you get like spirit filled and then you, you're compelled to speak. I um, had it about happened to me once on a bus. Well, not out of the blue. Somebody was being mistreated, and uh, I don't like that at all. Um, publicly or, or privately, I don't like that. I don't like bullies. Uh, and b before I knew it, I was doing a bit of Bible, like preaching, like um, yeah. And in the midst of it, because my mouth, ma your mouth, when it's that spirit thing, your mouth just is going, like the words just come out of you. But the back of my brain was going, oh, we're doing this, are we? We like one of those guys, like on the bus, just giving it large. But people clapped at him, bless them. And it was resolved, the issue, which I was pleased about. Because if most bullies are, um, they don't appreciate negative attention or being pulled out for their behaviour. Society, everybody, Dr. Banda. And these guys, these two African brothers, so my hands going the wrong way, those, <laughs> it's really difficult. Yeah, those guys, they're lovely. I like, they they, they do the singing and stuff, but I don't know their names. I feel like I have known their names before. Hello, the last person in the chat, right? The second, who I can't quite. Um, yeah, you're right. Even Allah doesn't know me. Allah don't know much. Let's not get carried away. Even Allah don't know. <sighs> like as if he was last year's mastermind champ. I don't know how to fit in the chair with his two arms on the same side. Here, let's show you Omar. I wonder what they're chatting about. Ah, oh, I wonder. Should we, I mean, there's nothing to stop us really shuffling forward. But he'll, yeah, because he won't make his sexy, sexy, sex comments in front of old Bill. Oh, I am. Put a gift to bliss, um, babes. Life's too short, mate. Just bowling deal with it later so I do but I don't want to give him the uh, yeah, yeah. like the ego yeah, 
He's got. He's like the ego has landed. That is literally. He's got no um, self doubt or he doesn't seem to anyway. Entitlement, I think the word is. And twaddle. Oh, here's one of his brews. Joseph. Oh, God. Oh, that's lovely. I love it when uh, a plan comes together, to quote George Peppard in the 18th. Hannibal, that was his name. Show him my age. <laughs> it's reruns, it's reruns. That's what I'm going to go with, even though that's a fifth. Right, I can't be bothered to film Omar because... Yeah, if you want to see me and Omar, if you want to see me decimating him, it's on my channel. Yeah, he's all he's, all he's really got is innuendo and sort of that little twinkle in his eye that makes you think like, oh, maybe he's all right, really, but he's nah. not. Oh, no, he's not. No way. Not as far as I could throw him. Would I trust him? Uh, yeah, where is everyone? There's no JC, there's no Bob, there's no... Oh, okay. Yeah, I came a bit early, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have got in touch, but I just assumed. But then again, Jesus is still here, so that's the main thing. See, now Charles is hiding, I can't even see him over Oh, it's in a white shirt. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, with a jump around it. Listen, man, some people are, no, they don't, just don't feel the same temperature that I feel. It's just not. Yeah, I know he said he'll debate me, but it always turns into a farce anyway. I just thought it'd be make a change to debate someone. Yeah, 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 go on, babes. Listen, I'm going over the boozer shortly ish. Yeah, yeah, defo. I'll come to shout you. Let me ask Rev where everyone is. Nothing in the group or nothing about JC never said nothing about football slash family commitments. So then, yeah, maybe it's just running on a South American time. Yeah, that's true. I don't, yeah, I must have rolled out of bed too soon. Um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> There's nobody to go to, darling. It's a shame because I get down there and it's like. I know there's a couple of people at the pub, she said, angling to get out and over the pub, but there's literally no, not really many people I recognise other than a couple of Christians, which was like, like, there is value in that, obviously, but they're engaged already in conversation. I like that. Right, I could, uh, yeah, pick a topic. My sock has come off of my uh, heel, so uh, I am going towards the seating area. Um, no, I'm not going to predict you, I can't do it. Yeah, once I get um, to the point where I can... Is that... Free to play, you're right. Um, yeah, once I sit down and I can see the comments properly, if somebody chooses a subject, I shall expand upon it, if you like. I've been doing a lot of history, obviously, lately when I've been at the Tower. I do like British history. English history also. Oh, I know who I'm missing. Billy. It is very warm for this uh, gentleman of such advanced years. But he has been known to eat his graves all sorts. He might still be at church. Right, let's, uh, there's just humans everywhere. Right, pick a subject that I, while, whilst I can see it. Uh, theology, if you like, religion, or... Let's see. Modine. He's abroad at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to be around for a while. He's, uh... Do you know, I have a friend who kind of sometimes fills me in, like, goes in the same similar circles, but is much more intelligent. Um... It's not like I don't listen, but I can't remember. Like, it's not my important shenanigans. Jesus is brilliant, but I can't give it the nail again on the head. Right, let's have a stroll over to the boozer. And then, uh, 
Yeah, then we can have a little chitty chat. Because my battery, oh, I'll check it in a minute. Because James, uh, James Charles said yes, he would debate me and then immediately vanished. Uh, yeah, let's just not get hit by a bicycle or a pigeon. What is it? I mean, it seems like a worthwhile goal. This organisation, their project is to transition in a legal and peaceful way within the shortest possible time for a new creative format of society worldwide where human life will be of the highest value. The only problem with transitioning, and I don't mean in that respect, but, you know, in the shortest possible time, is who decides what is a, like, whatever the goal is, a peaceful and positive, you know? It, it, sadly... If you're not using biblical definitions, I see, JC, then it's, um, like it's a bit. Oh, I thought you were. Uh -huh. Are you... How many cameras you got? It's already there. No, I'm asking, can I do a. No, wait, facing me. So, uh, sorry, babes, that is. I can't believe I didn't notice you in that shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I was about to walk over to the. Uh... I've been here ages, you slacker. Where's my cuddle? Liberty. Just walking past me like I'm a regular. It's like, did they have to take the Right, yeah, yeah, I'll do um, persecution. Yeah, there's no one here. Like, me, there's Mark over there, Rev is there, but there's no like a uh, speaker. There's me, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'll make up the. Let's rock, yeah, have a rock and roll on your channel for ages. It will be good. It's me, babe. Let's not get carried away. Right, so it be a nice break from Bob, won't it? Quick, before he gets here, if he's coming. Nah, oh. Never mind. Um, all right, well, I'll catch up on all that, guys. I'm just going to have a ciggy and then I'm ready. All right, the pub's on hold, people. Sorry, too. I'm not uh, promoting smoking, by the way. I'm just smoking. I trust that most of you are grown adults with your own <laughs> capacity to think for yourselves. That's how we used to do it in the olden days. I still don't have a light. What did I can't pull out my whole bag? It'll be just two. No. Right, who's got a light? It was Charles and he's run away. Right, we're going in the bag, people. Drastic, drastic times. Let me show you some... Um... Oh, no, it's still me. I thought I was facing the other way with the camera. I do apologise. What the sand built? Oh, uh, what is my persecution topic? Really, really sadly, Bill. Um, there's so much to choose from. Like, I could, I'm, I'm basically um, set for life, as it were, for, for topics. Nigeria, always. Pakistan. Um, there's loads of the. I get so many different stories sent to me, and I look for them that I don't know until I kind of got the camera in front of me then I'll I don't know, make a snap decision and maybe I won't even do like a specific instance because I think though that personalised stories are more impactful like when you start talking about 32,000 uh, dead in the last X amount of time it's big numbers but it sort of becomes meaningless after a very big number and then there's another big number and you can't visualise necessarily 32,000 people and also their loved ones who agree, you know? So I remember there was a girl, Vera, she was 23, she was I think a bio or a chemistry student and she went into a church in Nigeria to just have some quiet study time and uh, when she came around in the hospital before she died she told like she'd been um, physically attacked they I think they hit her in the head with a uh, fire extinguisher they yeah like rape slash murder 
just for being a Christian, just for being in a church. Just, but that that always stuck with me, that story. There's quite a few of them, and it's really sad that some of them don't stick. Like, I feel guilty sometimes, but I could never, ever, ever remember all of the names. The first one, <clears throat> when I prayed for a focus and God gave me persecution, there was a visual, a little girl with a machete hanging from her head in Nigeria. Um, but the first time that I saw a, a story about a pastor who'd been kidnapped and he was like a, ask, in the hostage video he was asking for forgiveness for his captors and I, I think it scooted past me on WhatsApp or something in a group and then I couldn't find it and I thought alright I'll hop onto a search engine and I, you can try it yourself whatever search engine it is I put in the words Nigerian pastor hostage something like that and I got I can't remember now, 128,000 results and they weren't all duplicates or even many and I just, that, that really, uh, I knew it was bad in Nigeria but I didn't know, the nobody knows the full extent, even the, the numbers that are reported to us by, um, you know, reliable, integrative Christian uh, organisations are still only the numbers that, that reach outside of Nigeria, you know. Similarly to, uh, I don't know, like North Korea, China, we know there are like murder camps and uh, internment camps in China, for instance. But the true horrors, like they do seep out some stories, but not, but not at all. And especially when it doesn't fit the the generalised political narrative, because we hear about Uyghur Muslims. I'm not denigrating their suffering, but there are Uyghur Christians as well. Um, there are thousands of people Muslims interred in China, but there are also vast amounts of Christians too. Just because uh, China has an officialised, like Christian inverted commas church, doesn't mean they didn't change the New Testament to say that. You know, after all the people left who had wanted to stone the adulterous woman and Jesus said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone, you know that story. Um, they changed it so that they all left and then Jesus stoned it to death. And I'm just like, but, but by doing so, in a Romans 8.28 way, they're still admitting he's God because he's sinless, like, you know? So even when people try and lie, the truth, the truth will out, as it were. And Jesus is not only the truth of a small T, he's the capital T truth. Just the way that God is love, you know? That's amazing. Do you think that's amazing? That like God is love. And he couldn't be anything less, really. Like it, it, yeah. I like... I do like theology. I like thinking about... Um, just the multitudinous and, like, the nuance and the... The harmonics of the of the, the Holy Spirit that just weaves all the way through the Bible. It's really comforting, you know. And I have read as a student of theology, like it's not always Christian theology, and I have read lots of other uh, reported um, religious texts of other world uh, faiths, ideologies, religions, and you'll never it, it's never replicated even with the best intent like even if I genuinely try to you know there are lovely passages don't get me wrong there are some some very edifying things in other um, books and other traditions and, and stuff but they're not our geez, like anything good anything good and lovely is is from God all good and perfect gifts and anything that, that causes someone compassion or causes them to, you know, move towards love and towards truth is commendable, regardless of, of the faith of the person or the, the religion that's come from the book, as it were, whatever book we're talking about. And the, and the yeah, human beings will always corrupt things, no matter how lovely and pure, because that's just in our, in our nature, obviously. Sorry, I'm just looking at JC's back.
I'm not going in the man forever though, because what I can do, I can just do a little, I can make my own video on, on Soko. Uh, I don't need JC's camera, like I can just, I could live stream it from my phone if I wanted to. But. Hello, lovey. Long time no see. Yeah, don't we all? But there is a, there's a pub with umbrellas across the way there that I shall be frequenting. There are people who need Jesus in there. I'm 100% serious. <laughs> and, yeah, and Miguel, I was talking to you. Um, I took a John's Gospel. No got... way. Have you got any Matthews on you? <laughs> well, I've got, I've got a mark as well. Oh, said, well, well done. I gave him... Uh, John. I said, what would you like, John or Luke? And we were talking about John. He's the Gospel of Love. He says God is love. I was just, I was literally just uh, sort of proselytising about that exact phrase. So, and that's in 1 John 4. God is love. Those who love live in God and God in them. So, uh, Without love, literally, banging symbols, you know, you can do nothing of any value, you can be nothing. Even if you do great works, without love you are nothing. That's 1 Corinthians. And that was at my wedding. And there's, really? in 1 Corinthians 13, it says, Love bears all things, in believes all things, hopes, hopes all things, endures all things. That's love one of my favourite. It's love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy it. Uh, it keeps no record of wrongs. I've not got it in the right order. But it's a, that's a beautiful, all of it. That is, I love, that's one of my, uh, I, when I say one of my favourites, I sometimes feel a bit, like, disingenuous, because I've got a top hundred, so it's not yeah. like... Yeah, there's lots of us. But Romans 8, 28 is, is up there. Uh, all things work to the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. That's such a comfort. And I've got Ro Romans 5, God's love is poured into our heart by the Holy Spirit who's given us. And he promises in uh, Ezekiel, God will give us, take out our heart of stone. Yes. And somebody's been damaged. And, 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 and things have gone wrong with their heart. He says, take away your heart of stone, give it a heart of flesh. And that's why, interestingly, Paul says, take captive your thoughts. Even after your, your like, um, you know, baptism of the Holy Spirit, as it were, your, your thoughts are still liable to be, like, of the world, whereas your heart is now flesh, so you can more safely, even though C.S. Lewis tends, to, like, he veers off a little bit, he, t he sort of takes the mind as superior, but I like the fact that love is more of a reality than anything you're thinking. But in Ezekiel 36, Sorry, it yeah. says, I'll take out your heart of, of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I'll put my spirit in you and cause you to obey my commands. And Jesus commands, he said the whole two. law is summed up. It's literally, love covers a multitude. Love, and, yeah, no, 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 the two commands further are, down, sorry. The two commands are, love God with all your heart and love your neighbour as yourself. I'm a lawyer. Jesus says that's the fulfilment of all the law. I'm not going to say what he says about lawyers. Uh, He's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so love your neighbour as yourself. Love God with all your heart. And in this word, the entirety of the law is encompassed, is covered. You don't need to worry about stoning adulteresses. You don't need to wear tassels. You don't have to avoid certain foods because if you love God you're not going to be out dishonouring your parents and murdering people just casually and if you love your neighbour as yourself I had a get out clause because I could have done law I often thought well I don't like myself very much this was a long time ago. well sometimes uh, sometimes today but yeah so I thought well if I have to treat them as I would treat myself that may be not very good <laughs> so the, the, the other thing is uh, you know do unto others as you would have done to yourself that doesn't work in the case of masochists and people who enjoy being like the trouble. Uh, can I go on to another thing you said about love? Of course you can. Jesus said, and I quoted this to uh, my, my friend Miguel. Jesus said, love your enemies. Do you want to be on the camera? Or, I, oh, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. No, I thought... Jesus said, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. How can you love your enemies? And I prosecute people who've done awful things. You have to say, hey, that paedophile may have been abused as a child. Most likely, actually. I mustn't hate him. God loves... God. If he, he was the only person on the planet, Jesus would die for him. Because God loves everyone who made in the image of God. But he has to repent. And Not for to, us to love him, though. That's the thing. When we were at our lowest, our most simple, God loved us just the same as he does when we're doing good works that he set for us. So that's amazing. But then the definition of love is God loves us enough to die for us, but he loves us so much that he doesn't want to keep us where we are. No, of course. And he wants, us, wants to change us to be more like more like Jesus. And, and you were saying uh, love is patient, love is kind. 
Thank God, literally, because if I was running the love show, there may be some bodies buried, like, uh, you know, around the place. And it says, because God is love and Jesus is God. You can put the word Jesus there. Of course. Jesus is patient. Jesus is kind. He is. And every time you see the word love, Jesus is pure, perfect love. But if I put the word Mark there, Mark is patient. He doesn't know, mean the gospel, not... he means himself, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, so it's, it's, it's a real challenge. And I was, I've got to be more patient. So that's a, a good way of... Um... Like that's a that's a good way of um, not beating yourself up, but noticing your shortcomings in a positive way is to try and put your own name in those spaces biblically and, and see where you're coming up a little short, Great. as it were. Love you. Keep up the good work. Love you too. <laughs> I, I will. I will do my best. Oh, and can I tell you, Islam stands for I sincerely love all Muslims. I say to my Christian they friends who come God, to, though, so. no, no, hang on, some they don't do. know him. They don't well, know him. They're seeking some. Genuine secrets. But I say to my Christian friends, you can speak as corner. You've got to say, you've got to love Muslims. Oh, wait, yes. God of loves everyone. That's what and I want to tell you before you go. Sorry, that was what I was about to say about loving even the most unlovable. The, 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 not the trick, but the mindset that I find most helpful, other than having the actual love to give them and praying for more ca capacity to love, is that we love ourselves in as much as even when we're at our most, we know what we've done and we, we're really ashamed of whatever. We still don't actively seek out harm if we're kind of the average person. We still want the best eventually for ourselves. So we don't have to approve of people or like them or agree with them in any way to love them. You just, and even in as much as you just need to act as if you love them because That's like, it. Yeah, and yeah. show love to them oh of show course patience kindness love is, a do, love is a verb just as much as it is a noun if you don't do anything about it and how you, are you loving if you wait for the feelings to come you can wait a long time <laughs> but you step out in yes. love show kindness to people show love pray for them Amen. and then you'll find your love for them grows yes more and because more. the more love you give the more you have to give it's, it's a dichotomy in as much as it doesn't follow the laws of um you know, like mass. It, you, the, the more you give away, I promise you, the more capacity you will have to give more. And it's the same. The less love you show, the more miserly, or the more insulated, and the more inwardly negative you become. And it's a real shame because people ration it as if it's like as if it has a value that is intrinsic, other than giving. Mark, always a blessing to see you. God bless. Yeah. Oh, Josie's here, but you know. Okay. Now nah, let's sniff over the booze of peeps. Because, for one, I'm very warm and I don't have any um, water on me. Uh, for two, JC's going to be here for, for, for a hot minute. For three, I can make videos on Soko by myself. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, then I can chat to you people because I love you people. Some of you, like in my spare time, and all of you, just because. Not because I've been told I have to, but because it's just an ease, and much more, obviously, it, it sounds difficult, like maybe before you're a Christian, or even hmm, on Monday mornings, or when people are being, like, hurtful, or people-y. Like, it can seem like a real, uh, it can, appear from afar to be a burden and yet counterintuitively it's a, it frees you up hi sam you're all right jc's in there that was uncle sam no relation um oh, why would you decide to have the sun just sweaty all right let's get past our um Muslim friends who I really don't want to look at their backsides, but it, I find it difficult to, to not look, you know what I mean? It doesn't engender any lust or anything, so no panic. Although, it does say you look at a woman with lust, so I think I'm alright on that one. Scott! <laughs> As in, tick that off my uh, not to do list. Right, let's not die. And then let's check the battery when we sit down. I just need liquid. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and the holiday. Not even that, yeah, I just want to be somewhere that's not... I love London, like, for real life. I love the fact that people like that are walking around. I love I love Britain. I love the United Kingdom, Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I love Ireland as well. It's, it's great. There's lots of places I like and love. And I love London, like, particularly. It's history, it's character, it's, uh, you know, like, the, the ways of... I wanted to say genuine Londoners then, but I mean like not visitors, not, uh, you know. And yet, <laughs> I love it more when I'm coming home from somewhere where I'm able to just like be a bit more silent and a bit less surrounded by minimum six million people at any one time. Never more than ten feet away from a rat. It's a fun fact, because the sewers are just, yeah. Stabbing yesterday, very close to my uh, place, and that's like one of at least four in the last two weeks. But Sadiq Khan, everybody, you remember him? He has said he said years ago uh, to the to the ladies and gentlemen of the police constabulary that they ought not to stop and search young people they suspect of carrying knives because it may be racist or it may appear racist, or whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, so, within the last six weeks, don't quote me on the six weeks bit, two crossbow shootings, uh, two fatal stab stabbings, one potentially paralyzing stabbing, um, and yesterday, I don't know the full deets, but that was another stabbing. What else? Oh yeah, yeah, there was a maybe suicide slash murder. This is all close to where I, so yeah, I do love London, and, it, and it's always been violent. Like, don't get me wrong, anyone who knows the history, or anyone who watches me when I'm, you know, talking about 15th century London and the executions and stuff. Yeah, it's always been violent. And often each generation is convenient. And sometimes, like, uh, what's the word, fairly, that theirs is the worst generation, and it's worse now than it was before. And it isn't. It, it certainly isn't because it just isn't. If you know anything about like a medieval Tudor, like times in London, and yet it's so just really senseless and preventable and avoidable. And at least two people have lost their children just for no reason, no good reason. There is no good reason stab someone really there's no good reason to hit someone but obviously I, well not obviously I have done that and there is a good reason actually if they're trying to stab you that's a pretty good reason but to be the instigator is what I mean where is everybody other than somewhere else I don't care I mean not that I don't care but I don't care oh all right sorry I, I promise you I'm going to put my spectacles on and read your stuff in a minute. There's no air conditioning in London because we're all used to... Oh, they've got the air for it. I'm standing by the pizza oven. It's quite warm, as you can see by my shiny red countenance. Orange juice and black currant makes that really nasty. Sure. Okay. Oh yeah, I have that as well. Yeah. Two days ago. Round pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, everyone. I'm playing the. Oh, hello, Armour. Mikey, check with Sam before taking. Look that cute. Oh, oh, Sweating. Okay. I'm not going to be London about it and say the phrase I was about to say. Yeah, I like it. I like English. I like the rhyming slang that you soon came up with. And South London, of course, as well. Yeah, who was reading next? I'm waiting if that counts. I think I was next. I was with those. Yeah. Can I have a small Merlot, please? Yeah, and you can No, thank you very much. So, yeah. My eyes are getting worse. Genuinely, my eyesight is deteriorating. 
Yeah, I can read it. Is Piggy here? No, I didn't. Oh, Jagan. Oh, you're all right, darling. Um, yeah, that's why I have to. Yeah, I can use my other bank card. Would you like to give a card? Card, please. Yes, that's the price of yeah. It's not worth it. I'm, no one can force me into panic. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah, can I get a glass of water as well? But no, I won't be able to carry it. What a diff. Never mind, I shall be forced into drinking just fine. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the to the seating arrangement. Uh, okay, let's let's go furthest away. It's very warm. I have a head like my head is starting to ache from the heat and dehydration. So really, I ought to have got the water. Would you mind watching that while I go and get another? Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm com I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna interact with you. You lot, you lovely lot. Oh, thank you. So, I think they'll turn the air conditioning on if that's what it is. I don't know what's the point in having big pipes on the ceiling with fan looking things. Oh. Right, come on then, gang. Let's have a little seat. Thank you very much. Right. Oh, that bag is really heavy. I am turning into my mother. It's not a, like a terrible thing, but. I'm not built to carry around everything I possess in a handbag just in case, you know. Right, let's just... Oh, I can dig my light out now. Could I get a light, please? If that's all right. Thank you, I'm going to leave you alone, I promise. Thanks, bud. Right. Uh, I was sure which classes to go for. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Jagana. You always say such lovely things. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, right. Anyone who speaks as of now saves me the finger effort of uh, scrolling upwards. I'll be grateful and I shall answer any questions that you may have about London as well, if you fancy, <laughs> or Jesus, or religion, or Islam, or pick a topic. <laughs> Discretion is always the best part of valor, armor of God. Well, it's, it's, yeah, that's the saying. It doesn't say always, it says discretion is the best part of valor. Meaning if you're a gentleman, you don't, uh, yeah, you're discreet. Or a gentlewoman even, as well. Smoky, I am, I'm not a bandit though. Oh no, it was Smoky and the bandits, so, yeah, I'd rather be Smoky than the bandit. But sorry, I mean, I'm not... I'm not actually because I'm a like grown up person and I smoke and I I'm not saying I have to do it on camera that's not um, what I mean but it'd be like I wouldn't lie about it either or pretend I did you know so what you see is what you get with me and sometimes you get more <laughs> than you see or than you see coming as my uh, personal friends can attest I love Tragana 11 to 13 is my absolute fave. One of my faves. Arrgh. Yeah. To give you a future and a hope. And you will, you know, you will find me when you look for me with all of her heart. You're like, <laughs> some of it just is so lovely. Like, it's not like there are bits that aren't lovely. Oh, there are bits that are, like, discussing things that aren't very um, nice, but... Yeah, I've been gathering some verses together for like a like a homework thing, and it's uh, it's difficult. Not because the topic I'm arguing is 
like that's I feel like that's so not you know like I have a strong conviction that I've correctly interpreted stuff but it's just that you get going you carry on reading because it just gets good again like as it you know what I mean and it so takes forever like you go off I go off rather on tangents in my mind and it makes you know and then other verses come up and the Holy Spirit is good at that as well like bringing up the right verse at the right time Unhelp, not unhelpfully, that's a silly thing to say, but Holy Spirit doesn't always give me the actual reference, so then I use a search engine. <laughs> but um, I'm usually in the right ballpark, well, it's in the Bible, so yeah. Even some of the um, Apocrypha is very, very pretty, like very lovely language and positive and stuff. But that's, yeah, that's the thing about the Catholic Bible is that the, the Protestant view is. Um, don't have to dismiss it like you can read it surely like it's worth reading it's, yeah it can be very edifying just not just if if you found discrepancies between that and the bible obviously the bible must be supreme like so the scriptura but i, I find that there's all of the positive things are already in the but you know like it's uh they're on a parallel they're not you wouldn't need to quote the apocrypha as such like if you're a theology student as I am, off and on, um, because you can find it somewhere else in the Bible kind of thing. It's another one of my face. Dragana, stop it. You're spying on me. I'm convinced of it. You have access to my online Bible. There's loads here. I do like, um, love is patient, love is kind. I like, um, I have called you by your name and you are mine. Fear not, I have called you by name and you are mine. Though you walk through the waters, they will not overcome you. So you go through the fire, it will not scorch you. I'll hold you by your right hand, like, warm. Mm. It's nice, isn't it, to be loved? It is. Who's arguing? I know someone in their own head just went, yeah, but... Mm, mm. <laughs> it is nice. Shush. Hi, Manny. You all right? Yeah, yeah, 1 Corinthians. Even up to... Um, yeah, sometimes I stop reading at a certain point, but then I, I just like all of it, to be fair. Or whether it's fair or not, I do. Oh, you, oh no, it's only a fly. Oh, the eyesight thing is bad. With my, I have an aversion. I'm not going to say I get scaredy cat. I don't like flying things, uh, little flying things, because, well, the short story is one flew into my ear once, and it would not die. And it was just on my ear drum. So yeah, that's that story. So I don't like anything flying around me, like tiny little bug stuff. But because my eyes are, these glasses afford me the privilege of reading your stuff, but in the distance now things are blurred. So I see something flying, you're right, John. I see something flying and I just think that bumblebees are worse. I'm not, you know, speciesist, but I am, yeah. Mosquitoes are the absolute. Black flies, mm, depends where they are. If they brought friends, you know. Mosquitoes, what is the point in mosquitoes? I know, like, God in his infinite wisdom and all that, but what is the actual point in them? Like, food for dragonflies, like, what is the point of them? Because they love me. I know it's lovely to be loved, I just said that, and now I've thought of an instance where it isn't. They worship me. They find me wherever I am. They just can't get enough of me. I must be very tasty in the mosquito menu. You have a bee. Yeah, I, I'm beekeepers. I mean, that's one of my definitions of insanity. But I like honey, so you know. Right. Uh, oh, night, night, Phil. Sorry, babes. I know we're on vastly different time things. I haven't forgot about the Nigeria thing, Phil. Um, and I'm awful at Skype. Sorry, babes. I used to be on there a lot more when somebody else was on it. That sounds like bad. Yeah, sorry, Bill. I, I haven't forgotten. And I, to my shame, like I should be chasing you for it, really. But yeah, get in touch with me and I'll, as soon as I see it. Right, I've made a promise. I'll give you my word. I'll, I'll reply immediately and we'll, we'll sort some shizzle out. Sweet dreams. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Which is what used to, yeah. Huh? Oh, I love my nan. She used to say that. We didn't have bed bugs. I think she probably did when they were children. Everybody did in the East End. 
lodger, isn't it lovely? It's lovely if you're sitting having a little bevy, not if you work in the kitchen, I imagine. I, I don't have to imagine. I used to work in the kitchen when I was uh, studying, like when I was a younger, younger young person than I am now. It is. You just find yourself walking into the uh, fridge and having your breaks in the fridge. <laughs> it's just shocking. Shocking. Especially if you have to wear a uniform. It is, you know, it. I like autumn. I like winter. Winter's very beautiful. It makes everything look clean. Until the next day in England when the snow's all brown and sludgy. And, and, and it, like, even though technically it isn't summer yet, there's something about sun, even if it's outside the window, that just lifts your spirit a little bit. I find myself dancing more in the summer, like just in my house. Music sounds a bit better. It's easier to love people. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't live uh, with Bill. Bill's a lovely guy, don't get me wrong. But he lives in a country that have ridiculous, like hellish being the right word, hellish weather. Alright, Jordan, long time no chitty chat. Happy to see you, lovey. Hope everything's. Yep, I hope everything's uh, lovely for you, where you are. I haven't caught up with you for ages. Sorry, Jordan. I don't know why that... I do know why that is. I'm an awful person. Like, what happened was, uh, prior to last... Yeah, last year inclusive, some of it, I was so ill, so frequently, and in so much pain. I'm not exaggerating. Like, I've had a baby. Like, I think you all know I've got a daughter. I think I would have rather had, like, gone through childbirth a few times than the pain I was having every single day. It was agonizing is not too dramatic a word. But at that time, because um, I was ill also, it's like you think I've got all these hours just laying in bed. Why don't why am I not productive? Why don't I get in touch with people? But my WhatsApp and my Skype just went mental. Like it got to the numbers where you're like, I'm never ever gonna get to the by the time you like find somebody it's so long that you feel like a right arse to put it in a uh, French no not white wine the lodger it's more calories darling red wine is better not even just calorifically but um it's a little bit better for you nice but I can't it's nice to be um, a bit right brain. I am mainly left. I think I don't know. I, I, I have. Um, I used to be very crafty, as it were, in in both ways. Like I like uh, creating things. I like making things for people who I love. Like I, I, I think it's nice. I like giving gifts is one of my love languages, and I just like it. I like the thought that somebody has made something for me as well. Like with me in mind or even just chosen something like you know not just off the shelf not, not that in my time I haven't uh, got a Mother's Day card from a petrol station because obviously I was once young and <laughs> always been a little bit disorganised but yeah uh, it's nice I have a couple of friends who are artists I have some yeah oh he's dead you don't know how frequently that happens to me. Like I'm thinking of someone, I think, yeah, I should get into Oh, all right, yeah, they did. But yeah, I have one of his pieces in, on my fridge. It's so strange to like... It's very odd to like... It sort of hits you over and over again, like the fact that you will never speak like they will never... Anyway, let me just have a walk again. Yeah, it's quite recent again that I've uh, lost a good friend of mine. Yeah, yesterday I was... <clears throat> Hold on a minute, let me just have a little brief. <sighs> right, yesterday, and then I'm getting off the subject, but... Like, I was sitting there wanting to talk to someone. Like, it's, I, I'm not a big talker when I'm at home. Like, you know, I spend hours just... So I, like in my own solitude I, I like it but sometimes I have to like get somebody else's opinion you know or just say things out loud to double check if you know whatever 
and I was sort of mentally scrolling through my contact list on my phone and actually I did I was looking for my neighbour's number how lazy am I three doors down because I wanted to tell her about the stabbing so that because she has like young like you know teenage kids I wanted to make sure they, they were alright and they didn't go out like a, anyway I couldn't find the number I'm, I know I've got it I just couldn't find it like in either of my phones but the point is as I was, so I went from A to Z. I thought maybe I've, maybe her name when she punched it in is like maybe I've shortened it because I'm cotton. And I went from A to Z in my farm. And it was really frequent that I was thinking, oh, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Like it's just, it's a lot. Like even though I've, you know, I believe in eternal life, that's not always comforting. <laughs> if they didn't believe or if they didn't come to believe, like very sober body and. I just miss people a lot. Sorry to be such a downer. That isn't to say that obviously like life isn't wonderful, but that's the thing. I'm not really afraid of dying. Like I think I try not to be afraid of anything really, but if I had to choose it would be not living. Like it's more it's more of a, a horrific prospect than dying. Do you know what I mean? Just God gives you like a jobs to do and opportunities and stuff and then I never feel like I'm doing enough even when I I am doing a lot but that's my like uh, sort of perfectionist type story but sometimes it isn't sometimes it's because I'm lazy and because I'm not well or just can't be bothered thanks Vicky cheers both it's just so often, like so boring. Like I could be a professional mourner. <laughs> like I like to think about the fun in funeral, but I keep thinking if I, like, why don't we all meet up in between funerals? Like it's just everybody's busy and then they're dead. Like to put him. The last guy was a good, good friend of mine and a good, lovely person. And then an atheist. But um. He had like a month, he just found out. Sorry, I'm gonna get off the subject. And then it was like not even a month. And I keep thinking like, what if I had to, like, I'm just rubbish at getting in touch with people anyway, but what if I had, to, what if I had a month, if I was blessed with a month? And I, what if I forgot somebody, you know, like, or what if they needed me enough? Oh, anyway, what a life, oh, shh. Sorry, let me just grab a tissue and get a grip and get over myself. Um, that's the thing about bereavement, it comes in waves, like, and you, the, the frequency, you can't get over the one and then another one comes along, it's like buses, sorry. I wasn't wearing much makeup anyway because it's so hot. I might have to blow my nose, that's quite attractive I find. <laughs> that endears me to people. Ah, they do say that a trumpet will sound at the end times, but don't panic, it's just me. Sorry. Oh. She just sniffs half my cup. Classy is what I like to go first. Oh. Right, I'm back on. Right, let's get the game face on. Let's stop booing on YouTube, really. Boo tube. That's a good call. It. Right. Hold up. Okay, where were we? Let's let's talk. Let's talk shiz. Let's do some serious stuff. Let me drink alcohol. Well, I know, Vicky, I'd much rather um there's no point in lighting or being like I mean everybody does it. I find myself when I do though now people look at me like I'm crazy because I'll say something and then I'll say, No, I'm lying. Usually I mean no, I've got that wrong. But sometimes it's like certain personality types like yeah the, the 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 desire to be liked is a very strong underrated like driving force and it can cause you to lie or to sort of fudge the truth a bit to make yourself look better or to not tell the truth at all which is not the same as lying but it can be can be it depends on what you're keeping a secret I suppose but yeah edifying stuff Kate edifying stuff 
main character syndrome. I thought you were <laughs> man character syndrome. Um, I'm definitely not an NPC. That's for sure. I've checked. Armour of God, to get your apron on, babe, to get your pinny on and uh, send it on over. I like people. Oh, people have cooked for me before. That's lovely. That's a love language, I guess. I don't think it's in the main list. I can't forget. I can't forget. I can't forget the last person who made me a. Oh, there's only a roll or a bible. It was such a nice. You know, sometimes the littlest things just really touch you. Like, oh, here she goes again. Flipping Ada. Yeah, yesterday I, I, I went down a little, uh, like a, I would say memory lane, but it was like more of a dark alleyway of, uh, and I got a little bit up, like a bit needy or whatever. And then the, I asked somebody, like I wanted to be cheered up a bit or something, and they took it the wrong way, and then I took it the wrong way, and then it all gets a bit dramatic, really. Life. What a, what a blessing it is. It is. <laughs> oh, David, come on, mate. <laughs> That's lovely, but timing, babes, timing. There's already a, a, a frog of French proportions in my throat. A player at what buttercup? Tell me you mean music. It don't matter if you mean music. If you mean gentlemen or ladies or... It's all right to be human. That's the... That's what God knows that, and He knows everybody's heart. So it's not your actions. It's not the Old Testament. It was because obviously we didn't have Jesus. But it's not your actions. It's it's the intent of your heart that is paramount and of the most importance to God. And that's that's evidential, like it's in the Bible. So if you are like, if you're doing something that you know you shouldn't be, or you're not doing something that you know you should be. Don't beat yourself up. I mean, I could do it for you, but don't. Um, you're kind of doing Satan's work. Like if you, no, I'm not insulting you or anything because everyone does. But don't, um, don't allow yourself to be like to. You know, don't victimise yourself. Don't uh, beat yourself up. What? Where is the love or the edification or the value in that? Like, um, if you keep being down on yourself, like. That's not how God sees you. Like God sees you as somebody worth loving infinitely. And you are. Like you certainly are, whoever it is watching, you are. I'm oh good. You're a funny little kid. I, I mean, I don't know about a little old kid, but you're a funny, funny kiddo. Kitty wink. I'm a footlooker, not advertising, but. I don't, you just made me made me lose my train of thought, which is sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the thing about negativity is that it's cancerous in as much as it it just multiplies by itself. Once you let one little chink in your armor, I do it. Don't get. I do it. I have. Sometimes I wake up like literally from nightmares where I'm like I'm in the middle of trying to explain to God why I didn't try harder, why I didn't do this, why you know what I mean, like. Everybody has like, see that's the thing about fear. If love casts out fear, they're kind of antithetical obviously. You can't be fully loving if you're afraid and you can't be fully afraid if you're loved or if you're loving your persecutors and all that. And fear is, we've done, like when it says fear of the Lord, for example, it doesn't mean being afraid. It never means that. God never ever wants you to fear him or to be like uh, you know intimidating into doing good things or what you what you should you know act and behave in a way that you think he wants you to it's not that there is no point in that that's you may as well just be Muslim or any other like dogmatic religion that's you know very black and white the fear of the Lord in that respect is it Job? I think it is Job when it says the fear of the Lord is wisdom to depart from evil is understanding. So wisdom, I believe that wisdom is the Holy Spirit. It is or it's respect. That's it, John. It is. 
I was thinking, I was trying to work out whether it's Hebrew or Greek that I was about to translate about, but yeah, in a nutshell. Go on, John. Just boom. Thank you, I'm a bit gay. Archie. You alright, babes? Or is it Mother's Day where we're it down, like, under, you know, other side of the... Aww. Oh, that's nice. It's all, every day should be Mother's Day. I, and I mean that from before I was a mother, obviously. Not obviously, because when I was a teenager, I was awful to my mum. Felt that it's such a... Yeah, teenagers, like, I'm sorry if you are one. Demographically, for my audience, it's unlikely, but sometimes. But yeah, I've got a friend of mine with a teenage son, and the self-centeredness and the... It's 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 a um, it's it's one of the it's a de it's a development of your character and it's it's like two year olds cannot empathise. They it's not that they don't want to they they aren't capable. They are the centre of things because they're still developing, you know. And teenagers similarly are have, you know it's all about them and it was all about me and I I, I really made. Them. Yeah, I gave my mum a hard time, and I didn't need to, and I am sorry for it, like, I do repent of that. But mums, is a kind of weird clause in life, if you're still blessed enough to have one, that they get on your nerves. <laughs> Obviously not my daughter, but I'm joking. Like, yeah, if you have, like, if you go back and live there as an adult, for example, that's a little challenge. Yeah. Yeah, wise man. It's like that thing they say, it's amazing how much your parents learn <laughs> from the time you're a teenager to the time you're an adult. They don't really learn much more. You just realise that you don't know everything. Yeah, I was convinced at like 14 even. I, I knew, I, I was confident. I would have passed a lie detector if someone would have said, do you know all there is to know? I'd be like, yeah, obviously. I thought adults were born at like 40 in a cardigan. They'd never had any childhood experience or they would certainly never a teenager with feelings as, you know, valid and important as mine. They just didn't understand me, you know. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, John. They all, all mums are your best friend. Like, I mean, some people have horrific mothers. I don't mean like that, but it ought to be that way. Hang on a minute. Oh, try <laughs> Where you been? I see where you've been. You've been in YouTube um, purgatory, as it were. Do you know what? I've just yeah. Now I've now I thought of that, Troy. Thank you for reminding me. If you look in the comments uh, in the description, not of this vid because it's not set, but in my other videos, you know there are links to Patreon, PayPal. I can't remember now. Rumble, whatevs. Because, oh, by the way, demonetized, you know, because of uh, telling the truth about his life. You know, actually, did both my channels within a week, uh, seemingly coincidental. Either way. Now, YouTube, bless them if they're listening. Um, it's really odd. They To be able to make a clickable link, a hyperlink, as we call it in the trade, um, I have to, they want me to either make a video where they'll make an avatar of my face and store it for up to two years on Google for some purposes that are not really specifically spelled out or I can give them my official like passport slash driving license slash inside leg measurement I don't know saliva sample I'm making that bit up or I can have links be able to be clicked by uh, just being a good girl for a few months and I'm like for one, what's a few months and what's the definition of a good girl? Like, you know? But yeah, I, I, I feel reticent to... I'm not making them an avatar of my... Just very Machiavellian, like, skull duck, like this. It's facing me, babe. So why would I be filming Prime Candy or London Luggages when there's this chick available? You know what I mean? Constant effing delight, as my nan says. Yeah. <laughs> Hope not. Yeah, Jordan, it's odd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a community post and put all the links there because I'm confident that the fact that you're here, all of you, means that you're fully able, or oh, actually, oh my God, I might take this, <laughs> that you're able to copy and paste a link that is not a clickable link, that is just some words. Yeah, what a liberty. Like they, 
they're, they're, when I say living, that means freedom, you know, in real life English, but they push the boundaries of, um, like Orwell would be just like, what? <laughs> it's really, really, I, I want to tell you something, but I don't want them to realise, and it bad? Oh, there's got to be some way, I'm going to find a way to tell you all, I can tell some of you individually, like. But yeah, there's an irony of the times I've been, um, what am I talking about really? So I'm talking about being demonetized to steal the truth from. And then I'm telling about people who can't, don't know how to like, for example, send an attachment or like copy and paste into a search engine, the link, because my links are no longer clickable because uh, YouTube don't pay me. Now they don't want anyone else to be able to either like support me financially or go to my like uh, presence on other platforms because they're all about the love you know John I've never seen I mean I don't know what other channels you're on babes but yeah the, the, it's odd because certain I mean channels I can or I, I don't know I could I always you've got to keep it real there is no other option but I can't not, not for me, babes, and not really if you're a proper Christian, like not proper Christian, it's not up to me, but real is plenty, plenty, yes, Vicky, all day long, bro, or babes, or, do you know, I might make a video on a Cockney Roman slang, because I love a bit of language, you may have noticed. And I do know quite a lot about the etymology, which is a long word for meaning where it comes from, or the origins. Also, Old English, Anglo-Saxon, you know, like Proto-Germanic and all that. I love language, I do love language, it was one of my faves. And then they've just bastardised it, that's not Sweden, that's an actual description. They've, they've made a mockery of it, they've changed the meaning. Alright mate, where's the fire? Oh, it is a fire engine, I'm not even joking. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, they've really... Um, took the piss sorry it's that uh, two mouthfuls of wine that's done that they have extracted the urine uh, and just run about changing the meaning of words because they know it makes it more difficult for people to communicate honestly and uh, with integrity because Marxists don't know if you're aware they like to control the narrative they used to want a class war I don't know if you're old enough to remember that shoes I don't know if you're in a country where they've got class systems but um yeah, then they realise that people could win the lottery or just work their way out of poverty or just nowadays it doesn't really matter how... It does still matter. If I put on my received pronunciation voice, I do get a different, like, reaction in shops and stuff. But, yeah, then they changed it to colour and gender. And then, obviously, gender's now... Sorry, you didn't hear me say that. I, yeah. Um, gender's now not even a concrete thing, apparently. Concrete meaning, like, real life. <laughs> Chatting under the carpet is, for one, Vicky, I reckon it might be quite uncomfortable. I make noises just when I sit down, just in case it hurts. I'm, I'm getting to that stage of the game. I'm like, oh, and it don't hurt. And it's just, you think, oh, I've got old lady Tourette's. All right, Ivan, um, what's happening, babes? Oh, Welsh Hills. Do you know what? I haven't been to Wales for a long time, and I often feel like a cultural... Wales gets overlooked so much. Like, Wales ain't even on the flag, bro. They're not even on their own flag, really. They've got the dragon, that's all right. But, yeah, the Union flag is St Andrews, like the Scottish flag. It's the Northern Ireland flag, which is the red X. And it's the English flag, which is St George. And that's it. And Wales is just, like, comes along for the... Wales just gets... Wales has got quite a decent little thing going themselves, you know, I'm not talking about like, um, oh, what's his name, the old guy, it's not unusual, to be. that guy, <laughs> and choirs and coal, they've got sheep and everything, they're, no, they're lovely, they're all right with people, and they've got lovely like Celtic type history, I can't think of the right word, they've got a load of castles, very beautiful place, Tom Jones, thanks folks, thank you. My assistant, everybody. Oh, yeah, I've got an auntie, a great auntie. That's not because I don't mean she's brilliant. She is, but she is uh, my mum's auntie. She's in Wales. She's not Welsh, but she just had a funny turn and decided to move there. 
It does happen all the time to you, Bishop. Yeah. Do you know, I see, Vicky, I see an old, not old, a dated, well, old, yeah, archaic um, map. So from the 4th century, I was looking, I like the Anglo Saxons. I mean, I am English, you know. Hey, what are you going to do, better be? Sorry. So, what was I? Um, where, Armour, you do it to me all the time, babe. Where was I? Fudge sickles on toast. Vicky, I was yes, right. So, Anglo Saxon. So, at some stage, Cambridge University, the twats, um, that's uh, the French for idiots, whatever, twats, that doesn't actually, that means something much more genital in nature. But uh, I'm going to use it in a gentle way. Either way, back at the ranch. Come on, Kate. Focus, love. Cambridge have started, not started, they've been for some time. They made a conscious decision to teach that the Anglo Saxon, there is no such thing as uh, Anglo Saxons. I will do, James, I very much will do, because I thought of him this morning and I'm going to give him a ring. Not a shiny diamond one like on the telephone. Um, Anglo Saxons, the original English. Uh, Cambridge University, which is quite a prestigious university, not mine, because I went to the better one. Um, yeah, they're teaching there's no such thing as Anglo Saxons, which means there's no such thing as the English, which you can see where that's all going. Um, and there is. <laughs> and at the time when the Angles, the Jutes, and the Saxons were migrating, not invading, migrating, for real. If it was an invasion, I'd say so. Like, I wasn't there. I mean, if I was, I'd be telling you what skin cream I use. Either way, back at the ranch. Focus, K. Yes. So there were Romano Britons here. Uh, there were Britons. But Ireland is depicted, no pun intended, it's got Scots written on on the island thingy. And in where Scotland is now, it says Picts, which are the Picts. So the Welsh just don't get a look in. The Irish ain't mentioned either, but I mean, they might have been in the pub at the time. I was speaking to an Irish fella the other day. He insisted on taking me for a drink to repay like a kindness I did. And, uh, as we were on the way there, he said, oh, I don't drink. I said, you do know you're Irish, don't you? And he, he said, well, I don't drink drink. I said, yeah, you're still, you're losing me, mate, because that could mean anything. That, um, But he didn't actually drink alcohol, but yeah, yeah, he did drink. I was like, what do you mean you don't drink? I mean, if you don't drink, that's lovely. Like, that's your, I'm not denigrating. Like, you know, it says in the Bible, if they don't eat meat, eh. If they do eat meat, eh. Just don't get involved. Mind your own business. That's the K translation. But, um... But yeah, I lost what I was saying. Anyway, Wales don't get a look in. The dragon is lovely and all that, but we've all got national animals, mate, but our flags are a bit more sort of Jesus-y. I don't know why they, they're, they was all, I like mythology, you know. Not, uh, it is pagan and all that, but oh well, I just like it, I do. I like literature, I like storytelling, I like language, as I said. And before the Christians came to this, fair and pleasant are our old English Anglo-Saxon um, set of beliefs I didn't realise until relatively recently they are very Scandinavian like uh, you know because of the Angles and the Saxons and the Jutes yeah we had a different way of saying it instead of Odin we had Woden instead of Thor, Thor even not Thor because that's a company version we had Thanor um, Freya like you know yeah, I, I always liked Norse mythology as a kid and Greek mythology. When I got to secondary school, my English teacher was absolutely blinded, if you don't mind me saying so, at telling the story. Like she would tell the you know, stuff that you read in the book and it might at that age be really boring, but she would just make it sound like she'd bumped into a more at the pub, like all the Greek gods. Like she would tell it like in a really... I love... John, I'm with you, babes. I, I don't take a snapshot at the moment as representative because it's not. Because it just ain't, if I'm going to say it in proper cockney. It's just madness, isn't it? Like they, they try and make you believe that it's all dying, it's dead now, it's gone. Like get, get with the progressive stuff, like chop your knob off or whatever. I don't know what they're saying at the minute. You know, like paint yourself blue and identify as a toaster, whatever. It's all right. But it's not, like, they make it sound like it's everyone bar you, if you watch the, I don't know, any sort of mainstream propaganda touches. But it's not. You're not abnormal for 
thinking that things that were true 20 years ago are still true. Unless you were with someone 20 years ago, you're not with now, like I don't mean that. But yeah, yeah, ladies uh, are born generally with ovaries, you know, like females have vaginas. I don't want to frighten anybody, but it's just a fact. It's just one of those awkward facts that we can't erase. Gentlemen, even non-gentlemen, males of the species, usually, unless there's a horrific accident or like a, a malformation, which isn't an insult, it's just a description, there's a penis involved. Generally, as they mature, I, when I say mature, I don't mean psychologically, obviously. Like, there's a bit of an uh, Adam's apple thing going on, like a, a you know, protruding voice box, if, if we want to call it that. Denser bones, generally stronger, not as good at arguing, you know. <laughs> it's just a fact. Sorry. I'm not sorry, you know, because that, that was a fib. But, uh, yeah, yeah, men and women, different. There is such a thing as um, hermaphrodite, which is a medical condition, you know? Oh, no, that, there are some lovely, lovely men. Like, um, there are. I don't, I don't know why I said it as if it was a newsflash. But there are men who are very, what I call a proper, man, like, it's my culture, I suppose, but staunch and loyal and gentle but not in a pussy way you know what I mean I don't know if you know what I mean because I didn't know if from London but um, yeah there are certain traits that see it's alright for men to be men I, I like I don't work for Gillette or anything I'm not slagging I like men I love men there's a lot of men that I love I mean I'm meant to love all of them but I ain't got time for that I mean I have but I don't know them all individually I just do it in a jesus -y way you are a proper manish. I'm confident of that by your uh, by your icon there, you're in a suit of armor. Ooh. You've got to be a proper man. There's no room for boobs in them things, as far as I'm aware. I mean, yeah, my granddad was. A... It's just certain qualities, like needlessly bullying. I don't like. It doesn't make you less of a male, but in the the, the language that I grow, it's less of a man. Right, you know. Like, there's such a thing as a, like a decent, proper man. It doesn't mean they're not, uh, even the decent, proper ones are still twats at times, because everyone is, because we are human, hopefully. Um, five a toe, five a toe? Five, oh toe, five, five. Otto. I'd, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name because you've thrown that five in and I'm sure it's, it's like an F sound. Either way, yes, we're on biology. It's nothing new. <laughs> it's, um, it is, there is no such thing as, okay, so here's an actual lesson in something. Gender, okay? Uh, gender, sorry, did you miss out the F in that sentence? Are you a proper man fish? I'm a god, are you a merman? Is that, sorry, I may have missed that. Exactly, Piggy. Men can be, uh, you know, vulnerable, they can show emotions, because that's kind of stereotypical stuff. I mean, you don't want it when there's a fight breaking out in a pub. I mean, you could, like, just save that for when you get your doors closed. But don't make them less testicled up, as it were. Um, either way, unless you're, like, uh, Loretta Bobbitt or whatever her name is. Where are we? Right, anyway, where was I? Gender. Okay, gender. Before the 1960s, gender was only a linguistic concept. Sex. Yes. Sex was still sex, everyone. I oh, know, no slides. No, no. But in terms of biology, sex was the, the, the word that um, encompassed the subject of differences, you know, in genitalia and... Uh, bone mass and uh, you know all different things you can assess educational attainment you know professionals la 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 psychological shiz you know the whole shebang that was called sex even though it made school kids laugh a little bit it was what sex are you and you were either male or female because you know old fashioned like that Gender was for things like the French language, you know, there are masculine and feminine pronouns. You see, they're still differentiated by what we call, like, uh, like that would be sex-related uh, descriptors, masculine and feminine, meaning male and female, again. 
And then, um, certainly, I mean, a few people at the same time had the same satanic ideas there, but there was a guy called uh, Money, John Money. He was some, he's in the human sciences, which, is that, I mean, I, I have been also, but not like, it's, it's a shame that psychology gets chucked in with these lunatics. Anyway, he, I mean, his person, he, anyway, he had these theses about uh, sex characteristics, not physical sex characteristics, but um, outward, you know, just, yeah, like gender identities, as it later became called. And there just happened to be a couple, a young couple, who had uh, twin boys, and one of them had uh, an accident that meant that his penis was, um, like, mutilated accidentally. And they somehow came into contact with Money, John Money, and he advised, never tell the little boy, we'll, we'll make him a vagina, like the, one of the first, uh, you know, in this mental satanic experiment. Thing. But yeah, they they made him, inverted commas, a girl. He said, never, he said, told the parents, never tell him uh, it, you know, whatever. Never tell him. <laughs> Big, oh, you go away. Sorry, God bless that wasp or whatever it was. Don't tell him. Raise them as a boy and a girl, twin. Um, which they tried to do, the parents, and I think monthly or however infrequently or frequently, regularly, they took them to uh, doctor money, as it were, and he would have alone time with them. My battery's low. Shiz! I'm going to carry on this combo. I've got a video already on him, but I have to end because it will delete the bid. I love you all. Bye bye bye. Bye. Oh, come on. Okay.